what we should have here is ZT is R plus XL minus XC J. Three components. Once the been removed, there's only one path for current. Through there, through there, down through the capacitor, back to there. It's a series circuit. So I've added the resistance, the reactances together in complex form. That's what I'm now going to do. So that's so putting the values in. Six plus eight minus three J equals six plus five J ohms. Converted to rectangular gives you an impedance of seven point eight one ohms angle thirty nine point eight degrees. All follow that. Yeah? Those of you that went a slightly wrong way, do you see why you've gone wrong? And like I said to a couple, Robbie included, it's important really, doing a question like this, to draw that circuit out with the load resistor removed and show the two open terminals and label it up so you can see exactly what you've got. Right. Leave the resistor in and you start to think you've got a parallel circuit in there that doesn't exist in this, in this part of the problem. We can then calculate I from V over ZT. 100, angle 0, divided by our 7.81, angle 39.8. Gives us a current of... 12.8 amps at angle minus 39.8 degrees. The degree symbol, by the way, if the angles are in degrees, is just as important. Would be assumed. Yeah? Which wouldn't be correct. All right? Now, as we've got um, the impedance is a bigger ohmic value than our uh, XL is bigger than XC, does a negative lagging current fit in with signal for an overall inductive circuit? CIVIL, inductive circuit, current lags, comes after voltage. Right, so that's that check I was talking to you about last week. We expect the current to be lagging negative angle to the voltage because of the circuit. Although it's got an inductor and a capacitor, the inductor's got the bigger ohmic value and therefore overall that in circuit is inductive in nature. Okay, so now we can calculate VOC which is V Thevenins, which is equal to the voltage across the capacitor in this case. That is equal to the current I times XC, which is 12.8 angle minus 39.8 multiplied by three angle minus 90 degrees. And the result of that multiplication, according to me, is 38.4 volts angle minus 129.8 degrees. Yep. So that is the first component value in our equivalent circuit. So our final equivalent circuit is going to be an AC source 
We haven't calculated that yet. The four volts angle nine point eight degrees. Our load when we're finished will be twenty five ohms. And we want to cal calculate IL. So we'll come back to that in a minute. Stage two finding Z little t. What's the process? That's got to come out for a start. Okay, remove the voltage source. Yep, so the proper wording is replace all sources, in this case just one, with that ideal internal impedance, which for a voltage source is a short circuit. Yeah. So we take out voltage sources and put short circuits in. If we had current sources, what would we do? Leave them open circuit. Yeah. Okay. And then Z little t is the impedance looking back in <laughs> there. So how do we calculate that? One. That's what we've done. Now we've got to calculate ZT looking in at A, B. So what kind of circuit have we got looking in at A, B? got a parallel circuit, yes, we've got R and XL in series, both in parallel with XC. So can we write an expression for Z little t? Sorry? Yeah, so we got What? Yeah, we'll write this first. All follow that. There's the product on top. Simplify the bottom. The six plus five J. Rather have them in polar form. So I'll pause the video there and you can finish that off. Calculate that little t.
So what we got then, Khan? Come on, pick on We convert that top line to. Multiplied by Yep. All over. Yep. So the top line multiplies out to Jack, you done that? Do you agree with those first, yeah? Yeah, 30 what? Yep, everyone agree? Bobby, final. Minus 70 watt. What's missing from that? <laughs> Ohms. Angle. <laughs> I'm asking for this, isn't it? What was that? 30? 70? You are pushing it now. So 3.84 minus 76.7, yeah. So we can add that to our diagram now. This is 3.84 ohms angle minus 76.7 degrees. Yep. So we can now calculate the current if we calculate the two impedance first. We want to add those together. Finish it off. So we can say ZT is Z little t plus ZL. We probably want that that's 3.84, 38.4, sorry, 3.84. Did I write 38? No, 3.84. 3.84 angle minus 76.7 degrees times 25 angle zero plus in there as well not can't apply so we probably want them in rectangular form this is what I get 0.883 minus 3.74 J Plus 25 plus 0J. Adding those together gives us 25.9. I've rounded it to minus 3.74J. Which converts in polar form to... 26.2 ohms angle minus 8.22 degrees. If anyone disagrees with any of these figures, shout. Therefore, I is equal to V7 and 
over that total impedance, which is 38.4 angle minus 129.8 degrees, divided by 26.2 angle minus 121.6 degrees. Final result, 1.47 amps, angle minus 121.6 degrees. Question for you. Is this, is that current leading or lagging the voltage?